there's a bit of wisdom in the bible about building houses that says you know you don't start building a house unless you know you've got the money to complete it do you end up looking stupid it's a bit of wisdom that probably a lot of people don't adhere to but if they know what they're doing here then apparently it's going to be a shopping center so it's half eight on a thursday morning and i'm pondering songs about rivers we're off to the river to swim, apparently. We should film that rock there, because that's my favourite rock. Okay, so that's where we're going to swim, in between that like little mini waterfally thing and that fallen down bridge that you can see there. Big question now is, do I really want to go swimming? Dragonfly there. That's the end of our swimming event for this morning. I managed about three or four strokes, something like that. So, yeah, now. I was in the water for like more than half an hour. Yep. It's amazing. Now it's time to go and do some work. <laughs> It's been one of those days, um, well, it wasn't one of those days, it was one of those days where I got up super early and sat down on my desk at 7.30 in the morning to start work on mixing, kind of, sort of final mix downs of this remix EP I'm working on, which was really good and uh, weather's really hot so it's nice to crack on nice and early while it's still cool. It's now mid-afternoon, it's not cool anymore. And what's really not cool is the fact my laptop's been super playing up with me. Um, I think in the end the answer is that my external hard drives are not up to the job of a reasonably hefty logic file on the go. So um, having tried all sorts of other stuff, I probably should have done it earlier on. I put the file on the computer itself and it's now bouncing down and seems to be playing without glitching. Um, but yeah, had all sorts of fun and games. That's what's bouncing down at the moment if I uh, turn up the volume. There you go. I think now the plan is to go outside and get some fresh air. It's just gone like 10 to 4, so I don't know how many hours I've been in here. Well, I've probably done, yeah, bearing in mind I've had a very short break for lunch. I've probably done an 8 hour day already take a break, come back and do some more this evening. Like some of you who are watching, maybe you are involved in kind of video projects or music projects, and you know what it's like. Sometimes there just has to be a monumental push to really kind of get over the hump and get the project pointing in the right direction. And last night and today is that kind of hump for me. I think, I don't know if it's just concentration or getting used to new glasses or whatever, but I can definitely feel it all in here. I've been staring at the computer all day. So, time to go outside and stare at the beautiful scenery instead. Well, that is, I think you'll agree, a good way to rest the eyes. Doing a project like the music recording that I'm doing at the moment, um, project and completing the project can become everything and everything else can be sacrificed on the altar of finishing the task. As you saw at the beginning of this video, 
Rowan dragged me out to swim, even if I didn't really swim. She's right in the middle of finishing some work for university, the course she's studying, and being a teaching musician and uh, post-grad stuff. And so she's making time to get out, enjoy the warm weather and swim a bit. As a form of relaxation, just chilling out. For me, the bike kind of does the same thing. One of the things that's important for me is to really see and appreciate where I am. And that can be taken in the sort of grand scheme of life's journeys. And that can also be seen in the physical location. And we have the privilege of living somewhere very beautiful, lakes and mountains, easy access into the countryside. And it's important to make the most of that as much as it is to make the most of every other opportunity that we have. I think it's important to appreciate your surroundings, your community, your environment, those kind of things, as much as it is to get your head down and get stuck into your work. Um, because it has a richness. And so I think that's what one of the things we're trying to do, you know, not, not just get our heads stuck into our projects and our ideas and the things we think could work, but really to be aware of where we are and who we're in community with and let those things inform what we're doing as well. And so for that. Such a lovely bit of view. So yeah, this week it's a vlog bookended by the beauty of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Showing us getting out and enjoying it, taking time to chill out and refocus, but also getting our heads down and doing some work. And I think both are really important. And with that, I'm gonna leave it here and head back to the studio, get on with some work. And so thanks very much for watching. Do give us a big thumbs up, thumbs up for taking a break and for getting your head down and doing work. And do leave us a comment or a question if anything we've said has sparked your interest. And remember that together we do adventure. And we'll see you next time.